What are you gonna do? We need to do an intro. Mm -hmm. You gonna do that one? Which one? The Reading Rainbow. I don't even know what you're talking about. You ever watch Reading Rainbow? I don't know what you're talking about. All I know Dude, is butterfly nerd. in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. We've got some great plants on today's 10 at 10, but don't take my word for it. You've got to plant them yourself. <laughs> Y'all, welcome to that 10 at 10 for December 14th, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost 2024. I know, I'm going to be writing it wrong for six months. I might as well get confused now. Well, guys, today we're going to start off our 10 at 10 for today with Acer Pajurianum Miyasami Atabusa. We're bringing these to you in our Welsh pots. People ask what the Welsh pots are frequently. We use them a lot at the Buckholtz farm. They're basically just a squatty pot. Oftentimes the trees are bigger than we sell in a one. Now this is a dwarf, so it's very compact and dense. I like to think of this one as the Makawa Yatsubusa of Trident Maples. Excellent for bonsai. This one is an Acer Bergerianum subspecies for Mosanum. The leaf itself looks a little more cartoon-like than your typical Trident Maple because of that. This is a green, gives you some red new growth over top of it, sometimes salmon pink, and then that turns to a red in the fall. Guys, this one has some incredible pink growth going on midsummer too, giving it a lot of interest to it. I love this plant as a container plant. It works great as a bonsai. You can put it out in the landscape and just let it do its thing. I've seen it in some incredible conifer gardens. One of the best specimens I ever saw at this was at the South Puget Sound Botanical Garden. Well, community college, it's turned into a botanical garden that Frank Biles donated. There's some incredible plants there. I love Miyasama Yatsubusa. I think it's one of the quintessential Japanese maples for bonsai. So if y'all don't know anything about us, I'm Tim, that's my brother, Matt. We're mrmaple.com. We're a mail order company and we ship directly to your door. We do over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples and every Tuesday and some Thursdays, we add 10 new trees to our website. And that's happening today at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're actually gonna be handling uh, over 20 over on the website at 10 a.m. So check your email and you can sign up for that email on mrmaple.com. Shout out to our nursery manager at the Buckholtz Farm, Joel Johnson, one of my personal favorites. Uh, this one is named after Joel. It's called Johnson's Eye Stops. Many might not even know this, but he's the guy who found the original Angel the Prince. Now this one was named for him, Johnson's Eye Stops. It's an incredible new plant you might not know a lot about, but you're gonna wanna find out. This has that Higashiyama style variegation. It's pretty awesome in the springtime. It has more of a denser form to it though than some of your other Higashiyama styles, and it's a little bit shorter overall as well. Now it has that eye strop like variegation, but I've been told it's because he dropped the ice over the beer when he visited the guy that named this one. Awesome plant though. And whether you're chilling with it or not, you can make friends with Johnson's Ice Drops. Uh, we'll definitely be doing more of this one as it bears our new nursery manager's name at Buckholtz Nursery. So y'all, we've got a t-shirt giveaway happening right now. You can send your ideas into mrmaplegiveaway at gmail.com. Basically, if you've got a unique idea for our 2024 t-shirt design ideas, Send that in. Be original, be funny, be creative. Guys, we got a lot of fun ones already in. And, you know, we love seeing these. They're fun. They're exciting. And we're going to be choosing some. And, Matt, what could they win? You could win the grand prize of a signed poster by Talon Buckholtz himself. It's a Buckholtz and Buckholtz poster, very much like what Tim and I got Talon to sign when we first met him. You can be part of this piece of maple history. Now, Tim and I will be glad to sign it if you want, but they're already signed by the man, the myth, the legend, Talon Buckholtz. But wait, there's more. We're also giving away some $50 gift cards. If we pick your t-shirt, you're winning a prize. So send your design ideas to Mr. Maple Giveaway at gmail.com and we'll see it. Hey, shout out to Bruce Burton. He had some great photos in our group about a month ago of Ruby de Sophia in fall color. This tree is incredible. It's one of my favorite new weeping reticulated. I wouldn't call it weeping, I'd call it contorted. It's funky, it tends to go in all directions. Contorted is probably a better term because it spirals out in all directions and it just makes a very unique shape for a ghost type reticulation. Ruby D. Sophia brings it. I mean, another name could have been Funky Ghost <laughs> because this thing is funky. <laughs> it twists, curls, contorts, and it'll get these knuckles at the, off the base here as it matures that just give it a very funny, unique appearance a fun shape and an awesome reticulated variegation. So this one can come out with some soft pinks fading to whites. That fall color can knock your socks off too. I've had, like, like Bruce's photos, there's some incredible bright reds going on on this. 
It's so interesting. I think the main thing that really draws me to this one, the, the, the color contrast is out of this world, but it's the closest thing to like a contorted weeping ghost series plant. Like this has that reticulated form, but it also has a form and a shape like nothing else out there. Really special and very different. So guys, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're our international viewer, make sure you tell us where you're watching from. We love hearing about all those. And y'all, next up, we've got Acer Pomatum Red Saber. All right, this one is pretty dope too. This is an upright red that kind of, it goes a little unnoticed, I think, sometimes. This is a great color. Can be a very, very dark red in the early spring. And Red Saber, kind of a cool name to it as well. Yeah, it's a really bold red. And it has that sort of just bold leaf to it. It's got a strong Matsumuri. It looks like a saber out there in the garden. I've had some fire engine red fall color on this as well to really set it off. It's an upright tree, typically in that 10 to 12 foot range in 15 years. Think of it more in the shape of like fire glow. So not super big, not super little, kind of right in the middle, making it really well uh, positioned for that kind of mid-sized tree in the landscape. And just an overall great tree. I do like the name a lot as well. Yeah. So y'all, you know, we add videos to our YouTube channel every single day. Make sure you're subscribed. We also do a podcast, the Mr. Maple Podcast, on your favorite podcast platform. So subscribe to us there and give us your favorite, give us a five-star review. Hey, you know what? We'd also appreciate if you'd go give us a Google five-star review. That helps us out a bunch. All right, guys, coming back at you with some Nord Dogwoods. We got Cornus Florida Eternal. Y'all, this is a double blooming dogwood. A Cornus Florida with double blooms. I mean, this tree, right as it's before it leaves out, you get white blooms all across this tree and they're double. That double blooming factor is excellent in the garden, so it's gonna perform very well. If you wanna add some more flowering content, especially in that early spring for the pollinators, Cornus Floridas are great for that. It's also a native plant, so you get that native plant, uh, native R, if you will, it's a cultivar of a native. Uh, Eternal though, classic, classic Cornus Florida. Love this plant. I love the dogwoods because they provide so much out there in the garden. They pair so well with the Japanese maples, and this one just brings it in a unique way. Eternal's maybe the worst Marvel movie, Real good dogwood, though. <laughs> don't, don't put that with the Eternals. <laughs> what we got next? I did the Red Saber. Next we got Acer Palmatum Summer Gold coming back. Oh, gosh. Does Tim like Summer Gold? <laughs> Hand it to me. Do it. What? The Yellow Dance. You know you're gonna. It doesn't have leaves on it. It's still yellow. You know it's yellow. <laughs> you know it's yellow. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Y'all, this is a tree that does so well out there in the garden. It can put it in the sun, you can put it in the shade, it's still gonna be yellow. And this tree goes to bright reds in the fall. Guys, you can pair summer gold with summer gold. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that your yeah, Tim talks about this in every single video. There's no sales pitch needed. I can't believe he wouldn't yellow dance for us, guys. He's selling out. He loves the yellow. Yellow dance for life. This one is one of the best yellows for sunlight. So you can put this one in a good bit of sun, even holding that bright yellow up into a zone eight. I've seen this one in full sun in Atlanta, Georgia, and not burning, especially once they're established. Now it's gonna go to a bold red in the fall to pink red, so you get a completely different element going on in the fall. Likely a hybrid with Acer Shira Solanum, so it's actually a sister seedling to Jordan, but that heat tolerance is there in this one. It's one of the few ones outside of Hot Blonde that's yellow, that's in section Palmetto that I recommend for sun exposure. And when this tree is getting established, you may see a little bit of burn the first year. Once it's established, it can handle the sun extremely well. This is one of those trees that is just bulletproof. Again, don't shoot bullets at it really, but it's gonna do well, real well for you out there in the garden. This is an amazing yellow that can contrast and show you all your shades of green, contrast with your reds, and really brighten up the dark spaces and the bright spots. Some are gonna say it's bulletproof, and then someone's gonna send us a, a video of it, like with a bunch of holes. No, it's not. <laughs> summer gold, you, you know about summer gold. You, you know about summer gold. All right, from summer gold to Van Essen's gold, any, any yellow dance for this one? Van Essen's gold <laughs> is a really nice new Matsumuri that can give you some really gold colors on the new growth. I love this one, guys. It kind of gives you Seriu vibes, but it's not a lace leaf. It's an upright, it's got a heavy Matsumuri leaf. Now what that means is you get a much bigger leaf than a lace leaf. So it's got that big, bold leaf to it and some yellow color. Now this can go green during the summer, but then it has goldish color new growth again across that during the summer. This is such a fun plant. As you see the fall colors right now with some yellows and oranges. We got a lot of trees here on the table that sell out quick. A lot of these people have been waiting on to come back. And y'all, we got some excellent sizes. Don't sleep on these just because they're out of leaf. These are large one gallons. All 
All right, this was a fun one. Uh, have we had this one on our website once? Never maybe? launched on our website yet. This is Brand Eastern new. Palmatum, Star of a Sissy. Yeah, guys, this one's fun. This one was named by Bob McCaffrey. He does a lot of those Catholic series you've probably seen. He has a full, you know, Bob doesn't call them witches brooms. He calls them blessings, which I love. Such an interesting guy. And he has a whole series that he's named. Uh, just a great person and really fun. He, all of his trees have some kind of Catholic reference to them. And Star of a Sissy is no different. This one is a dwarf compact red with just some incredible foliage to it. Yeah, this is the same guy that found Alpine Sunrise, the same guy who found Jim's memory. I mean, he's got an eye for blessings, these witches' brooms, and they're outstanding. And for me, this is one of the ones that holds his color the best in the shade. It's been a rock star for us, and it's been one of the best brooms that he's introduced. Bob's got a close pipeline with the Lord, I can tell you that, because one day he called us and he said, man, I'm praying for your family all morning. Is everything all right? And Tim said, I got to let you go. My uncle's barn's on fire. We were like, what on earth, Bob? <laughs> so he's got a pipeline. Ask this guy to pray for you. He's a good dude. And I really appreciate him sharing a lot of these plants with us early on. Star of a Sissy really brings it. This is a great broom for the container garden. It's a great one to pair with some of your other brooms to add different textures. Uh, you know, just really brings it. That, that dark red color really adds a lot on a more Matsumura style leaf. Now this one is a little more dense, a little more compact. This is such a fun tree and it stands out. It doesn't have that short and center node, but what does have is that compact shape. I mean, an amazing small little dwarf. We've got one across the street from Matt's house in deep shade, and it's been rocking it. It's held its red really well. It's a great point. It's on a high oak canopy where I keep my ukigumo, where I keep a lot of the plants that are very white. This one just happened to go out because I wanted a dwarf in that area, but it's held that red exceptionally well with not a lot of sunlight. And in our cold frames late in the summer, it holds its color extremely well in there as well. We use 55% white poly. That's what we're standing under right now. And this tree's been a rock star, even in those conditions. Oddly enough, even in that much shade, it's been one of the darkest reds in the garden. And high heat. Yeah, great, great plant. A lot of trees will go more green during the late season because of that. Uh, I mean, we try to do our best to put so many cool plants to you each and every week. And y'all, we can't thank y'all enough for all that y'all do. We really appreciate our customers. Hey, is this all the trees we're listing today? We've got more. <laughs> this is just 10 of the 20. Check your email. There'll be another 10 trees on there that aren't even on this little table. Y'all, next up, we're bringing the frogs. We're bringing lily pad back to <laughs> MrMaple.com. <laughs> Frog references. All right, guys, lily pad is a great macaw form. It gets that name because it gets short and wide, but make no mistake about it, this is a high intensity variegated form of macaw yatsubusa. Guys, I've got some albino uh, yellow bellied frogs. And I put lily pads around in the garden, uh, not in the garden, around in the cage. You know, I may have to put one of these lily pads in one of my dart frog setups. I think that would be a really cool reference just to the frog. Slowly becoming the froggy channel here. I'm getting <laughs> a little worried. Y'all, lily pad, this is a cool tree that brings it. It's variegated. It's got that tightly layering habit. It was a selection that was found as a variegated sport in Boring, Oregon, off the side of a Macau Yetabusa, and they grafted it, and it grew more wide like a lily pad. And they said, huh, that is pretty cool. And they named it a lily pad, not because of the variegation, but because of how it grew out wide. And it has a very unique shape when it comes to variegated Makawa Yatsubusa types. Awesome plant for the container garden. Awesome plant for the ground. And who doesn't love Makawa types? We're bringing this one back. They do tend to sell out. It's a great plant. We've got good numbers in it, but don't sleep on it today. These are some people's favorite form of Makawa. I've seen people that have every single form out there, and this is their number one choice for good reason. Excellent plant. Excellent durability, excellent spring color, great fall color. Sometimes in the fall, this one will go to reds, oranges, and yellows all over top of that soil and variegation. Now, our Acer Pound made them lily pads. They got some great size to them right now, so take advantage of these sizes. This is a fun tree. It's the Makawa Family Collection. Last winter, we did a whole series on the Makawa Family Collection videos on YouTube. You can go back and go check those out and see all the different Makawa types that we have here at Mr. Maple that up to that point. If you get feeling a little froggy like Tim, get you a lily pad. All right, last and not least, we've got Miss Grace. Now this is a dwarf Dawn Redwood named by Talon Buckholz. Y'all, this has that weeping umbrella-like effect. It is a Dawn Redwood that to me, basically it gets that red wood bark to it, but it's a more dwarf, so it fits in a lot of your places in the garden. I love how lacy this one looks. It kind of has a lace leaf appeal to it as it weeps down. The original one's still planted there in the Buckholz Gardens. We'll have to do a full cultivar breakdown on that one sometime. 
awesome plant for a wetter spot in the landscape. It'll soak up some of that moisture where a Japanese maple couldn't go. Miss Grace can actually handle a little bit slightly damper spot. Again, Metasequoia, Glyptros, and Boides, incredible Don Redwood. And it looks great in a container for a while. Now, eventually it is gonna outgrow the container, but you can put this one in a big pot and kind of have that Don Redwood lace leaf-like appearance, that weeping form to it in a big patio planter. Eats up the heat, eats up the wet, eats up the cold. Great plant to be growing. I like it because it's ornamental. It's a Dawn Redwood. I think there's a frog in your throat. It just, <laughs> it's deciduous, so it drops its needles during the winter. But when it does that, you can really appreciate the structure, that how graceful and weeping this is. And again, you may have those spots in your yard where you can't grow a Japanese maple, and you can grow a Miss Grace Dawn Redwood. Hey, don't sleep on it. This is a good one. You're definitely going to want this Dawn Redwood. Guys, let us know in the comment section below your favorite tree on the table today. Shout out to you, Maple Mafia, international members. We can't ship to you, but you guys are awesome. Guys, check out our merch store. We're adding trees, or not, we're adding merch every single Monday. And we've got that limited release sale. It's back, it's in action. So take advantage of the limited release sale. New trees on the hour, every hour, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.